Historical Settlement The Hadza are one of the oldest ethnic group in Tanzania and have inhabited region for a very long time. Over generations, they have established their communities and adapted to the local environment, including the area near Ngorongoro and Serengeti. Abundance of natural resources the Ngorongoro Conservation Area and the Serengeti National Park are rich in diversity wildlife and natural resources, making them favorable region for hunter-gatherer communities like the Hadza. These areas provide access to variety of wild game edible plants and other resources essential for their traditional way of life. Suitable habitat. The landscape of the region, including the grasslands, woodlands and water sources, provide an environmental conducive to both hunting and gathering activities, enabling the Hadza to sustain themselves. Culture and Ancestral Ties The Hadza have deep cultural connection to their ancestral lands, and their traditions, knowledge, and social structure have evolved around this specific environment. Their communities and family group have maintained these ties for generations. Preservation of traditional lifestyle. Despite increasing pressure from modernization and outside influence, the Hadza have chosen to remain close to their ancestral land to preserve their unique cultural, language, and traditional way of life. It is important to recognize that uh, the Hadza's proximity to these national parks also present challenges. With increasing tourism and conservation effort in the region, the Hadza have had to navigate issues related to land rights, access to resources, and maintaining their cultural heritage in the face of outside pressure. Efforts are ongoing to support the right and livelihood of the Hadza people and protect their cultural heritage and traditional practice. As a general rule, the Hadzabe do not hunt wildlife within the boundaries of the national parks, including the Serengeti National Park and the Ngorongoro Conservation Areas. These parks are designated protected area where wildlife is preserved and hunting or gathering of resources is strictly prohibited. The Tanzanian government and park authorities enforce strictly conservation regulation to safeguard the diverse flora and fauna found within these national parks. Hunting within these protected areas by any individual, including the Hadzabe, is illegal and punishable by law. It's good, everything is good, yeah. Yeah. 
Instead, the Hadzabe primarily engage in hunting and gathering activities in the traditional land surrounding the parks, particularly in areas like Lake Eyas region and other part of Rift Valley where they have lived for generations. In these areas, the Hadzabe continue to practice their traditional lifestyle, relying on hunting wild game, gathering wild fruits and tubers and other plant resources for their sustenance. I never knew, I never knew how to bite like that. That's a deep cut, for real. The yeah, local medicine, eh? Yeah. 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 very painful, my friend. What is that? It's like the Dupai, the Saiso? Yes. It's a medicine, it's a drug. Right? Yes, yeah. It sounds very painful the way he was reacting to it. While the Hadzabe may have historically interacted with wildlife near or around the national parks, hunting within the protected area is actively discouraged to conserve the wildlife population and preserve the natural balance of the ecosystem. Park authority work to promote awareness and understanding of the importance of conservation among local communities, including the Hadzabe to ensure the sustainability of these valuable natural habitats and their inhabitants. What animal do Hadzabe hunt and why? the the animal they hunt vary depending on the availability of the wildlife in their local environment, as well as the seasonal changes and migration pattern. Some of the animal they may hunt includes Yungulets. The Hadzabe often hunt various yungulets, such as antelope species like Dick Dick, Impala, and Eland which are prevalent in the grassland and savanna of their habitats. These animals provide a significant source of meat for their diary. Yeah. <laughs> Birds. Birds include guinea fowl and ostrich are hunted by the Hadzabe for their meat and eggs. Baboon and small primates. 
Baboon and other small primates are also part of their diet as they can be found in the region. Small mammals. Small mammals like rodents and hares are sometimes hunted for their meat. The choice of animal to hunt is influenced by several factors. That's a big one. Abundance. The Hadzabi target animals that are abundant in their environment, making it more likely to find and successful hunt them. Nutritional values. The animals they hunt provide essential nutrients and protein which are crucial for their diet and overall health. Traditional knowledge. The Hadzabe have accumulated extensive knowledge of the local environment and the behavior of different animals over generations, enabling them to identify the best hunting opportunity. And it's sort of like maybe it's a wild bush pig or something different. So they look in the ground very carefully to see if they can pick up any, some sort of footprint and start tracking it. So it's beautiful morning, it's early in the morning and now we are out hunting. So hoping that they can find something. Seasonal availabilities. Sometimes animals may be more accessible during the specific season or migration period, affecting the Hadzabe's hunting choices throughout the year. something again today. I'm quite happy that it's a genet. It's a small uh, cannibal. 
It is important to note that uh, the Hadzabe hunting practice are generally sustainable and balanced within their natural surroundings. As a traditional nomadic and hunter-gatherer communities, they have a deep understanding of their environments and they need to maintain ecological harmony for their survival. They respect the wildlife they hunt and the resources they gather and their traditional lifestyle is an integral part of their delicate ecosystem in which they live.